Hey everybody, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. Leo here. Cassie here. Yeah, we were gonna do a what we eat in a day video, but plans changed because like a lot of times we have not eaten today and it's almost 5 p.m. Yeah, I'm hungry though. <laughs> yeah, I'm starving. So mm -hmm. we're gonna invite you to dinner. We're gonna go on inside, cook up a little food, have a chat with you. It's day 11 of your BBBE challenge. Absolutely. Feeling good. I'm feeling Real great good. too. Real good. And uh, right now we're out here testing our uh, new gimbal we got for our cell phones. Yay! We got Cassie's cell phone on there right now. I got mine here. We're gonna demonstrate to you what the difference is. I'll get a little footage with mine and a little footage with this gimbal. Man, it is so smooth. Yeah. You guys, check it out. All right, let's start walking. Okay. We need to cue the uh, Jefferson's music. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving on up. Moving on up. So are you thinking what I'm thinking? That doesn't look too smooth, Larry. It looks a little shaky. <laughs> I just sat down to edit this video and I went in to tell Cassie, uh, the gimbal wasn't so smooth. And she's like, what? She was so excited for this because you know, the shakiness in the camera really bothered her. It bothered me too, but she couldn't wait to get a nice smooth picture for you guys. I figured out what it was. This uh, clamp that's got a magnet here that goes on the gimbal. You're supposed to put it right in the center of your cell phone like that. And we had it over here to avoid this button right here. So the weight wasn't distributed evenly. So, you know, even though on the screen everything looks smooth, it was enough to give that little bit of shake as you're seeing right now. <laughs> but hey, at least we got out, we walked about a mile, got some exercise. Um, yeah, pretty frustrating. But longtime viewers have seen us make mistakes like this before. Um, and that's been part of our journey. You know, I mean, we started out with uh, a cell phone and that's it. And of course, since we started, we've gotten some new equipment and stuff. But actually during dinner time, I, I discussed that, you know, uh, a few things about uh, YouTube. And if you guys are thinking about, you know, vlogging your experience on the carnivore diet, um, I touch on that during dinner uh, later in this video. So <laughs> I'll get this figured out, take it out and uh, do another test run tomorrow. But uh, you guys are always patient with us, and uh, we appreciate that because, uh, you know, we've grown together. So anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. See you guys later. All right, now we're going to switch over to my phone and show you uh, the difference, you know, by handheld and using a gimbal. Check this out. So, as with all our previous videos, when we're ever outside vlogging, you get this shake. <laughs> Brutal, right? And I don't even have our selfie stick, but... Even with our selfie stick, you still get this bounce, and you know, it just don't look good. No. This gimbal definitely wasn't cheap, and it was made possible by all our Buy Me A Coffee supporters. Yes. Uh, thank you guys very much. We pulled directly from that fund and made this purchase. Been shopping around a while, see which one we want. And uh, cause you guys know, we still use our phones for all our content, you know, we're, we're waiting on buying a camera. If you guys want to support our content, our Buy Me A Coffee link is always in the description. And thank you again, everybody, who's already bought us a coffee, because this is pretty cool. Mille grazie. <laughs> all right, let's take you back to the house, and we are gonna cook up some food. Yes. Have a little chat, I'm hungry. Me too. All right, let's go. All right, baby doll, what are we having for dinner? Our <laughs> bacon and eggs. <laughs> right. We're gonna try this Costco bacon that we got out of that farmers. I am very much looking forward to this. Applewood smoked bacon. It looks absolutely delightful. Of course, we've got some ground beef, the bacon, eggs. Of course, it'll either all be cooked in butter or topped with butter. Yum. <laughs> Triple beanie. Triple B and E. That's right. Groceries are getting so expensive now. Oh my gosh. It is insane. It's your turn to cook today, so okay. fire it up. Burgers it is. I got cleanup. And I, I got a little confession for you guys. As we're recording this right now, it is Super Bowl. We're not huge football fans. We're Couldn't probably care less. Yeah, we're probably gonna sit down and play a little Nazi zombies. Classic 2010 game that Cassie and I have played for years on the PlayStation 3. That's gonna be kind of our game night. It was like, are we gonna play some chess or are we gonna play some Nazi zombies? We haven't played chess in a while. Yeah, we haven't. I was at the store yesterday and you know they got all the snack foods. 
uh, on sale, you know, two for five, all the crackers, all the dips. Well, they had one thing on sale that I just couldn't refuse. It was normally $19 and it was 11 bucks. We're gonna stray tonight from the BBB challenge just a little with a little shrimp ring. Um, this is a lot of shrimp for $11. We love shrimp cocktail, even though we won't be consuming the shrimp cocktail sauce that's in the middle. Yeah, the sugar sauce, <laughs> but we will be enjoying uh, the shrimp. So forgive us guys. We're straying a little bit from the BBB challenge, but come on now. It's shrimp. All right. Look at this bacon. bacon. Ooh, we have not had this Costco bacon yet, guys. So it's going to be good. Real good. So many people in our Facebook group have strayed for different reasons off the BBB challenge. A big reason has been the price of groceries i mean that ground beef we're about to have it was over five dollars a pound i couldn't believe it um for that package it was like 23 dollars things are getting expensive guys you know I, I was even eyeballing the chicken like man you know it was over half the price and i almost picked some up so if you guys are you know struggling with your budget you know just just eat some chicken you know save a little money um by the end of the month we actually might buy some chicken Trying not to, but you never know. Like our Costco haul that we got almost three weeks ago, you know, we still have some in the freezer, but we were trying to stretch it out and make it last. You know, so it's ground beef, you know, and bacon. The bacon, I mean, bacon, the bacon wasn't too bad. I was just blown away by the ground beef, how expensive it was. Let me know down in the comments if, you know, the price of food has been dictating what you're eating. Um, cause, cause we're right to that point. All right, Cassie's got that bacon going in the oven. And we got some uh, ground beef here. She's gonna make into some patties. Basically, you just threw some salt in here, right, baby? Yes, uh, pink Himalayan sea salt and a little smoked salt. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think I might toss one of them for a little bit longer, but I'm gonna pull the rest out. I don't like my bacon too crispy. Oh, the ones on the edges? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll eat those, baby. The, the, what, like those four pieces? These? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll eat those. You don't have to worry about them. Burgers. Burgers cooked in bacon grease. We don't. We usually don't do them in the oven. But we never do. Yeah. They'll probably taste like a meatloaf. How long do you do them for? Uh, good question. About, about 15, 15 minutes. minutes yeah. yeah. 400 degrees, 15 minutes after I pulled out the bacon, I drained some of the grit. Oh yeah, they feel done. I drained some of the uh, bacon grease and then just put them on top. I thought, why not? They did. The pan's already dirty, and it'll be delicious, I'm sure. That pan's gonna be fun to wash. <laughs> you gonna lick that pan for me? Yes! These plates need one last thing, a few eggs. Well, I'm glad it was Cassie's turn to cook because everything looks amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got hamburgers, eggs, and bacon, and what, the eggs are cooked in butter? Lots of butter. Lots of butter. Mm -hmm. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. This is how you do it. And uh, let us know in the comments, guys, if you've been able to stick to it. If you started with BBB during our weight loss challenge, I, a lot of people in our Facebook group have thrown in the towel. You know, and we get it. And yeah. I got a late start. Yeah. Cassie. By about 30 days. <laughs> 31 days. 31 day late start for Cassie. But you know, you had an excuse. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, you did. I can't imagine being in a restaurant where you had to taste the food. You know, could you imagine you're you're coming up with a menu, taking a bite of food and having to spit it out? That'd Some people do, and they're warriors. Yeah. Real warriors. They're warriors, but that I, I think that's the exception. I don't think <laughs> many people could do that. Right. Especially when you're trying to battle food addiction and break old habits. But yeah, I mean the BBB challenge so far is um, just, well, let's just say this the last 11 days, Cassie and I have felt great. Yes. Um, everything's going really well. Again, let us know down in the comments how you're doing. And, uh, we're going to figure that gimbal out. Yeah. It's, it, it started like not working there for a second. Yeah. We're like, oh no. So we're going to have to see, if maybe we'll have to return it. We have not done a deep dive on it yet. No, we just opened the box today. <laughs> right. Right, we've had so let's a, play around. <laughs> yeah, we had it a couple of days, and we were we were busy with other stuff, so we couldn't get to it. But it was good timing, though, because yeah. it was nice out today. Mm -hmm. and it was nice to get out and get get a walk, get yes. some exercise. Felt and really we, good. Yeah, we haven't done that together in a while. Right, so right. That was really nice. 
It is now 6.15 p.m. Um, this is a lot of food right here. It is our only meal of the day, and yep. this isn't what we like to do. We like to get two good meals in a day. Mm -hmm. We're just busy today. We're and actually... coffee with cream. <laughs> well, I haven't been having coffee with cream. Cassie has. But you have cut down. You haven't been guzzling it. Some like days. I'm not guzzling it, but I can already see that it's starting to snowball back to where it was. So I've got to really? pull the reins, and I just... I gotta stop. I don't want to. And you y'all know how it can be. Yeah. You know, you allow it one time. Oh, originally it was supposed to be only during my eating window. And that lasted a few days. And then it was a little sooner. Well, it's an hour before I eat. Well, man, here we are making coffee again first thing in the morning. And yeah, I'm just keeping track though. And I'm looking at my numbers. So my water intake has decreased and my coffee intake has increased over the course of the last 11 days. So that's one of the, uh, the positives. Well, I, I guess there's so many positives of tracking, you know, journaling. Throughout our entire journey, the entire length of our channel, we've always struggled to get enough water in. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, except when we're fasting. You know, when we yeah. fast, we pound the water. Yeah. You know, which we were just discussing tonight about doing a three to five day fast here coming up. Yeah. And uh, let us know in the comments. You guys would be down uh, to join us. You know, we've done that a few times on the channel. Group effort. And you feel great after a three day fast. But the longest I'm going to go is five. The longest I'm going to go is maybe 2.5. I won't go much more than that. If I make it to three, it'll be a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, we're definitely not going to do 14 days again. Let no. me tell you that. Uh -uh. It was really cool doing this old school type blog, wasn't it? Yeah. We've always enjoyed this simple format. <laughs> Just sit down yeah. and have a chat. Yeah. yeah. Blog what's going on in the day, what we're eating. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we were going to do what we eat in the day. I mean, essentially, that's what this is. But This is what we eat in a day. <laughs> but we, we didn't show the coffee. Yeah. I didn't show my cream. Didn't show cream. You know, <laughs> usually we do have a second meal. But... A lot of days we fall into OMAD. I'm hungry. <laughs> you hungry? Yeah, right. I want to eat. All right, we'll get out of here. Yeah, a lot of people will sit there and eat their meal on YouTube. We've done while it, talk. and I just We've don't talk. want to. Yeah, and I just, I don't know, I maybe because of my dentures. You know, maybe. It's really hard for me to talk and eat and yeah. you know, not look like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again to our Buy Me A Coffee and channel members here on YouTube. Y'all are amazing. We got that gimbal. It's going to elevate our content. I can't wait to really take a deep dive into it and see what it's capable of because it's got some amazing reviews and it's just, yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. So new yeah. toy. We haven't pulled the trigger on getting a new camera yet. You know, still using our, our phones. Our phones are good. Yeah. And you know, I, I, I want to, anybody out there who is thinking about starting a YouTube channel, a lot of carnivores do. We have 40,000 subscribers using the Galaxy S10 Plus. <laughs> so, you know, Put yourself out there. Be authentic. Yeah. Be honest with your audience. You don't need a thousands of dollar camera. No. Our lighting costs $60 off Amazon. Yeah. So it doesn't take a lot. Mm -hmm. And we encourage anybody. It's a great way to keep yourself accountable. That's what we did in the beginning. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Appreciate you guys stopping by today. Yep. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, be cool if you do. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Remember, no sugar. No carbs. No cheating. Later.